What's he got? I'm pulling him. Hi, it's Zubbo1975 and welcome to Lead Dangerous on the legacy version of the game. And um, I'm just bringing you some highlights from an evening of Dolphin Patrol. Uh, Matt Orange likes to get in his combat dolphin and patrol around Seoul looking for people, bounty hunters, people who can justify attacking and killing. Um, in this, in, on this evening, he managed to get two Corvettes uh, that he decided to tangle with, hilariously one straight after the other, and the first of them being Devo, which, you know, Devo's an imp, so, you know, die, imp, die, and attack Devo. Um, I thought this was rather insane, but, you know, Matt was quite happy to take on his Corvette in his Dolphin, and I um, slip away in a bit to go and get... Well, when I've completely emptied my missile rack, I go slip away uh, to go get my anaconda to come back. Because one thing about the dolphin, it's a surprisingly good bait ship. Even though it is Meta Orange's uh, most survivable combat ship, which is, yeah, a bit of an oddity. Um, you know, uh, Meta is very comfortable in his shieldless dolphin. It's a good fun ship. It's got weaknesses, obviously. But it is a fun ship, and he has a lot. Of, he spends a lot of time in it, and um, it's got through some amazing uh, scrapes and fights. And um, yeah, you don't expect many people in a dolphin to take on two corvettes one after the other, even if they're in a wing with support. Um, he was alone with Devo for a long time because I had to go all the way back to my carrier, swap ships, jump over. So I jumped to another system, go to my carrier, land, dock, get my anaconda, come all the way back. I did think about grabbing my vet, but luckily I went with my Anaconda for various reasons. But, um, yeah, uh, that left Devo alone with the Dolphin for a very long time. And uh, you'll see the Dolphin's health bar when I leave and what it's like when I get back. Um, I did cut out the travel to my carrier and sort of popping the ships. So, um, yeah, I just went with a classic uh, little interlude between. And um, so we'll be back in a moment as I come back into this fight in my Anaconda and check out the difference in Meta's hull. Eventually. Now, at the point I come back in my Anaconda, Devo's kind of locked in. He's determined he's going to get the kill on Meta because he's had to wade through an awful lot of chaff. Like, Meta has 48 chaff on that ship. Um, count 48 chaff, two chaff running chaff constantly almost super annoying plus the fact it's a self stealth silent running build um with that much chaff it's a super super annoying ship to try and deal with it doesn't really do much in terms of damage it does 15 damage per second in total it's like 15.6 or something like that um the two beam lasers but it's surprising how much that whittles things down eventually i mean it's constant damage and it's super annoying to deal with and with that much chaff he sits in there for ages I have honestly said to him repeatedly, it is probably his most survivable ship, and that includes his Corvette, which is telling you a lot about some of my ship builds. Man has an interesting eclectic group of ship builds. Um, yeah, I'm just going to stay with that comment. Interesting and eclectic group of ship builds. Um, it is quite funny. When he gets killed, people like take it really seriously, and you're like, yeah, I don't think you have any idea what Meta's ship building philosophy is or what Meta's PvP philosophy is uh, as Meta has often said it's it's not whether you win or lose it's the ability to low wake and talk shit in system chat that really counts uh, so when it comes to PvP we're pirates we don't really care about PvP I mean I couldn't give a monkey's if people think I'm rubbish at PvP or good at PvP it, it doesn't matter to me um, you know I do it for fun I don't I don't take it seriously I have a bit of a giggle and I gotta say it is quite horrifying how quickly and um, this anaconda can demolish Corvettes but if you think Devo's going down quickly this is actually a comparison video because that is a well-engineered vet that's tough that's a well-engineered vet it's been in this fight for a long long time and um, yeah and obviously I'm turning up with a massive DPS dump and uh, rail guns and he's ignoring me completely because he's totally <laughs> focused on killing that damn dolphin that he's been fighting with for so long uh, you know 
but you can see like he is you know actually taking a lot of damage and he's his ship go with it for a long long time uh, this bit of footage is sped up it's one and a half times normal uh, no 1.25 normal speed um, and even at this speed Devo's ship tanked a lot of damage before its shields went down his hull tanks an awful lot of damage before it gets critical um, that is a well built ship um, now after this Meta was on his way to get repaired when he came across another vet and decided to immediately attack that. Which was kind of crazily hilarious because he was running low on chaff and um, yeah, his hull wasn't the highest at the start of that fight. Um, so, And then I got delayed getting to him because I ended up... Um, Devo came after me and interdicted me. I don't know why he just interdicted me. I think it's just to make a point. And um, I had to send some more ammo from my frags because... Though I dumped a hell of a lot of DPS into Devo, I also dumped a hell of a lot of frag ammo into Devo. Um, yeah, I don't think this ship would have an... I don't know if I'd have enough ammunition to beat Devo in a 1v1 in this. I'd probably have to be a bit more trigger disciplined, but, you know, I, 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 that's not something that I'm good at. Uh, see target, shoot target, spaff ammo. That's basically uh, what I'm like. So trigger discipline is not one of my strong points, but... Yeah, uh, GG Devo, that was, uh, it was tough. Um, and he didn't quite get through the 48 chaff to get a kill on meta. One moment. How long was I dancing around with the uh, the three Arma boys? That one day. Wait, who's this? It's f duck and cover. Who's this? Outlaw Star? Another vet? <laughs> Get over here. He's got mining lasers. <laughs> yeah, he's got a beam, a pulse, two multis, and then mining lasers. I'm gonna pull him. Mm, yes. Evans signed up in jail. Come here, buddy. Yeah, so I was talking to Matt about how durable his dolphin is and laughing about the fact that he was in there for so long against Evo. And then he goes and interdicts another Corvette. I get distracted because Evo decides to interdict me. Um, I was surprised. I was like, oh, what's going on? Uh, but yeah, I'm surprised Evo wasn't coming after me for revenge. Because he could have done, because I didn't have any ammo. I mean, I would have had to have jumped away. But, yeah, I end up reloading some ammo and jumping into the fight. And uh, Matt is just about clinging on there. I, I, he's on some ridiculously low percentage of hull by the end of this fight. The fact he took on another that, running low on chaff and running low on hull. But like you say, the worst is going to happen. He ends up in detention. Um, but the fun bit is, like I say, it's a really good base ship because... People just stick around desperately trying to kill that dolphin. And um, yeah, and then they get this frag conda on them, and it's yeah, a lot of damage very quickly. And the comparison between this vet uh, is so poorly engineered compared with Divas, which is so well engineered. But all in all, a fun night of uh, dolphin patrol. And I'll leave you with Meta and say that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Dolphin Patrol has been very successful.